God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Thursday, July 22nd. Today's devotional is based on Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. In our prayers for you, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven. You have heard of this hope before in the word of truth, the gospel, that has come to you. Just as it is bearing fruit and growing in the whole world, so it has been bearing fruit among yourselves from the day you first heard it and truly comprehended the grace of God. This you learned from Ephrus, our beloved fellow servant. He is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, and he has made known to us your love in the Spirit. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may, may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from His glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the, to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Matthew Fleming. Paul's assertion is that the hope in Jesus Christ produces fruits of the Christian life that are the product of Christ's love. Through their union with, with the crucified and risen Christ, the Colossians participate in a hope for salvation that entails a form of living visible in Christian communities anywhere the gospel is faithfully proclaimed. And we are left with this question to ponder today. What are some of the false teachings that are prevalent in our society? Let us pray. If I in any way promote false teachings, wake me up to this and let me change my ways. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whatever that may be, stay safe, stay healthy, keep practicing social distancing, keep washing your hands, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.